Give me the vacuum. Give, give me the vacuum. Oh my god, he won't let go of my channel rocks. Oh my god, they're coming out of the roof. We, we remodeled the house, right? And um, we had new drywall. You can kind of smell it, right? That's musty. Yeah, a little faint. A little faint must, yeah, right? Huh? I think it's over here. For some reason, they didn't. Oh, yeah, I can smell it. Yeah, they didn't exclude it here. Okay, you had another pest control guy out? or They had another pest guy out, right? Okay. I haven't heard it anywhere else in the house, but the master bedroom is right here. So and you hear it in You there. can hear it. Okay. You can hear him scratching. All right, well, okay. we're going to get to the bottom of it. All right, great. Thank you, guys. My pleasure. Yeah, all these tiles, all these tiles are broken. Look at that, it's all broken. Yeah, see all this broken tile here? Contractors that are coming up on the roof don't know how to walk on the roof. This particular roof, you want to you wanna walk right here. Yes, I can even taste it. That roof is so delicate. We're not taking any chances of bringing this heavy equipment on there and having additional footsteps up there. So I think get Jimmy underneath that crawl space. He'll remove the main clean out. And then we made that hose longer so we can inject the smoke under the crawl space. I'm just hoping we're able to find it. Because typically we like to pump the smoke from above down. But I'm not taking a chance with this expensive roof. Tight crawl space. Yeah, I'll need some channel lock so I can unscrew this clean out. Okay, guys, let's get the smoke on. Right over there, you guys, is the two inch. I need to squeeze in between this dirt. And this pipe is going to be tight. And there's a lot of spider webs. A lot of spiders under here. As a professional rat exterminator, this is what it takes. Thank you for your service. Here's that laundry line. Guys, I think it's going to be the two-inch laundry line because look at the spider webs. They're not coming in from there. I think we're getting smoke way down there. I got to crawl all the way on that side. I guess Dave said a rat ran out of the pipe. We're getting smoke. Rats are popping their heads out right out of the vent pipes here up on the roof. Right there, out of his head. Right there. Go over there. We're about to smoke these rats out. Gotta be quicker than that. What you're hearing yeah. is they're inside the pipe chewing your pipe. They've chewed through the laundry line, I believe, because we're getting smoke, so we're gonna have to open up that laundry. Okay. You're gonna need to put a road blocking device. Okay. Otherwise it's gonna be a long term issue. They're gonna start yeah, really no, no, chewing no. their way through. It. We're getting smoke in the attic, so we're going to run the camera and see where the breach is at. I believe there's a break between the top of the vent and the toilet down below. It's just so hard to walk on this roof, so Dave's got to work delicately with the camera. Look at that. Skill. Skill. 
Skill. Skill. Oh gosh. It's almost like the rad dance. We're gonna head over there with a the camera and let's see what we can inspect. All right, so we've got the camera out, Anthony. It's a little smoky, a little foggy. Having David blow in the in the vent so we can get some of this fog out of here. And it looks like it's working. Perfect, Dave. Okay, go down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're on to something. There we go. There it is. Bingo. Not a hole, but they just, it looks like they didn't make their proper connection. Right there, guys. See that gap? Yeah. So this is your new pipe. Okay. And this is the existing pipe. So the rats are coming in through here and then inside this opening. So now we're going to go into the house and figure out where that is so we can open that open up. Open it up and yep. fix it, yeah. Okay. When there's a gap, the city sewer rats sense that airflow and it attracts them. So if that airflow wasn't there, you probably would have never had an issue. So we have two breaches. So get the drywall knife. Let's add a little plastic right here in the vacuum. See this pipe right here? Mm -hmm. Open up right in the center of it and then we can look down or look up. Can you handle that or? I mean, your arms look a little weak this morning. So yeah. let's just see how the, let's just sit the cutting let's just goes. Sit Actually, you look pretty pumped with that uh, Twin Home Experts t-shirt. Yeah. Guys, post in the comments. Do you guys want one of these shirts? Let's see what we can do to look like Anthony. If you want to look like Anthony, post in the comments. You see, when I grow up, I want to be just like him. Okay, guys, we're going to have to slide this safe back. So let's get this content out of here. We'll slide this back and then we'll open up a small incision there. Just do it slow and play it safe. Get it? <laughs> Play it safe. Let's see what's behind this wall and expose it, guys. Yeah, they connected the condensation line to it. That's not good. That's not good, guys. Anytime you have a condensation line, you've seen it in our past videos where AC guys will connect the AC condensation line directly into the waste and vent. That's asking for sewer gases inside. It's a big, big no-no. Here we go. Here we go. So as I told Anthony, I wouldn't have opened up here. I would have opened up over here. Why? Because this is the main drain. And I told him to open up center of the pipe. This is center of the pipe. No, it's not. Oh. The center would be over here. Okay, so again, he's blaming, he's blaming, he's blaming he's you. He's blaming he's you now. Yeah. Guys, post in the comments, is this his fault? He didn't listen to his boss. Tell me what you thought. He's doing his best, okay? Here we go, let's see what's inside. It smells like rat. Oh, yeah. God, it smells so bad. Is it? Oh my God. See the grease marks here? Watch out, Dave. See the grease? See the chew marks here? This is what they were hearing at night. Oh, hold on, Jimmy. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Come here, Ben. Gotta open up more? Yeah, open oh, up all the way across. Oh, there's a hole right here. Yes, what you got? Yeah, open up all the way across me. Hold on. Tell David's so desperate getting in. He's excited. He's excited. Right yep. there. God, this smells. Yeah. Oh, there's a rat. There's a rat right there. Live rat, guys. Give me the vacuum. Give, give me the vacuum. Channel locks. Whoa! 
these things Look at that. We're gonna see if it's inside the tank. No. No. Hey, Brian. It's Brian. somewhere in this hose. Let's get, let's get the water hose. He's stuck, Dave. He's stuck, yeah. Okay, put water here now. He's somewhere in this hose right here. We're gonna run a camera through the shop back. There he is, right there he is. There he is, right there. He's gonna add a little soap, kind of lubricate things. We got him. There he is. Yep. He got smoked and soaked all in one day. It's a rough day for this boy, but no more damage to Ryan's house. Close the door when I get all these okay? inside of this wall chase and then into the attic. Hey okay, guys, so what we've determined is this no hub coupling. There's a small gap. I could put my finger in just a little bit, not enough for rats to get through, but the plumber did not bring the vertical pipe all the way in. So it must have been a tight space for him to install, but that's, that's the issue here, but there's no evidence of rats. That's the good thing. So that laundry line is right there. So all the scratching that you saw in the wall, they were sleeping and that's what they were hearing. So the guys are gonna open up further or higher. Okay. We're gonna see what's Where's inside this wall. Pipe? Either an open pipe or a chute pipe. We don't know what yet. The Absolutely no pipe. <laughs> Gonna open up another hole, guys. Stay to be happy about. You're up too old. Job's not finished. So that, see the rat grease inside the, inside the pipe? Sebum, not rat grease. Sebum. I call it rat grease. Plumber failed once again. He was smoked out and then ended up in this wall cavity and we were able to suck him out. Don't get too excited. Do not get too excited. In fact, I, I teased a little bit with the rat dance, but it's, we're not about to, we don't deserve the rat dance right now until we confirm. Let's cap this off. Let's redo the smoke to confirm. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then okay. just as we're talking about the rat dance, who do you think's closer to being able to do the rat dance? Let's see. Just do a little teaser, does. Anthony. Just try it, Anthony. <laughs> just do your best. Do your okay, don't, so. No judgment here. Okay. Yeah, let's get to work. I'm not Give you me your best. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, but he looks like a hurt rat. <laughs> This one. All right, guys, we gotta get back to work. All right, guys, this wall cavity definitely needs the twin sign. Get rid of the odor and decontaminate. If you have any contamination that needs to get done at your property, order the twin sign today. It's awesome, guys. 
All right, so uh, client does not want to go all the way to the roof, so we're just going to install a studer vent. Keep it simple. He wasn't getting sewer gases here. That studer vent's going to really protect him from further rats. Plus, we're also going to be putting in a rodent blocking device just because of the aggressiveness and the way that this sewer pipe is installed. It's fully exposed, so it'd be pretty cut and dry to install. So, fixing the laundry, putting in a rodent blocking device, this job is a wrap. Well, guys, this deserves the official rat dance. The twins do it again. Another successful rat extermination. Job solved. We will see you on the next one.